Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to an all-new episode of Brian's Jerky Journey, a very special episode, an episode that I've been talking about for weeks, and it's finally here, and it couldn't happen at a better time. Episode 20, the Wicked Cuts Panel Taste Test. First things first, allow me to introduce myself if you don't already know me. I'm your host in the place to be, the Beef Jerky Guy, Jerky Guy Bry, Bry the Jerky Guy, Notorious Brian G., and I am going to spend this part of the review actually looking at the packaging and reading off this information. Now, quick little backstory. I actually <laughs> reviewed this a couple weeks ago. And it was kind of an extensive review, just reading through it as um, I see it, as what I've done in prior episodes. But <clears throat> in an effort to kind of clean up my phone, storage was low on my phone, I accidentally deleted that, thinking I had it backed up somewhere and I didn't. So uh, I'm actually re-recording this piece, which shouldn't be a problem um, Usually, like I said in, in prior episodes, I like to do one take, especially as I'm eating the product. Can't really re-review, do a, a retape of something I've already eaten if I'm trying to do a partial review. So this, what I'm trying to do here is just look at the packaging and read that information because I'm not necessarily going to be able to do that um, with other people here. And uh, right now as it stands, I haven't back from anybody, but it looks like it's happening tonight at our local um, restaurant bar establishment. And probably a good time to do it to kind of offset the stinging um, from what happened earlier today with our um, with our beloved New England Patriots um, losing what should have been a winnable game and suffering playoff implications as a result. And uh, I was actually at the mall after the game had ended, and people noticing the TB12 hat that I got for Christmas and been making little wise cracks about the TB12 method in this game didn't work, and they're right. So. But this is probably the perfect time to do this test, especially taste the Carolina Reaper, um, because our soul is probably so burnt that we won't feel the burning in our mouth from this Reaper. But anyway, so I'm going to go over the package, the packaging of this product. So it's Wicked Cuts. So I got this. I initially had Wicked Cuts send me the Carolina Reaper and the uh, bacon jerky about a month ago, a little over a month ago, actually. <clears throat> and what I'd done... Prior to that, so when I got the information, it was right around Black Friday, and they had a 25% off Black Friday sale. Um, they charge you for shipping, and I don't, I'm not a big fan of shipping, as I've mentioned before. But this 25% helped offset about 80% of the shipping costs. So I decided to take, you know, you know, to bite the bullet, eat the shipping costs, and buy a couple other products. So we're going to actually be testing four products at this. And the order that we're going to do it is a mix of what I purchased and what I received from Wicked Cuts. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look at the orange teriyaki. Um, which I guess has gotten kind of the best reviews across the board from people who have tried it. Um, and then we'll go, so I received, so I bought the orange teriyaki. The next pr uh, flavor of the four is the barbecue mesquite flavor, which I also bought uh, during the Black Friday sale. So kind of went in the palate, not hitting us right away um, with the Reaper, the first couple products. So getting something a little sweet and something a little spicy. Then we get hit with the Carolina Killer, which is what I received um, from Wicked Cuts. And then, last but not least, after we suffered eating this, assumingly, then they will get the Applewood Smoked Jerky. So, I am, um, excuse me right here as I dropped some of the product. So, what I learned when I looked at this packaging before, so, um, they're both... Other than the Applewood Smoked Bacon Jerky, all these packages are 2.75 ounces. And they are three servings per bag here and two servings per bag in the Applewood Smoked Bacon. The messaging on the back is the same. And it's a message from the owner, uh, former um, um, bodybuilder Branch Warren. And um, if you follow their Facebook page at Wicked Cuts, um, you can kind of see his journey. And um, it's, it's a pretty cool journey. And he actually has some very good merchandising. I like the merchandising. I'm trying to reach out to them to get one of their shirts because it's a kind of a standard uh, black with red font. And I'm a big fan of red and black um, workout wear and just kind of apparel in general. So let me read this message here for the orange teriyaki. It's how it's no added MSG. So this is the message that you'll read on every package of a Wicked Cuts product. And here's the message right here. And I will read it off to you right now. It's a really cool message. So here we go. <clears throat> we believe you deserve a better jerky. Jerky that is so artfully crafted that it inspires an instinctual reaction of high fives and fist bumps. Not polite head nods. Jerky that delivers a satisfaction so good that it can only be rivaled by tapping out a full-grown grizzly with your bare hands. We are Wicked Cuts. 
And that, and this is why we do Wickedly Awesome Jerky. Our Wickedly Awesome Jerky starts well before the meat is marinated for hours upon hours in a mouth-watering blend of seasonings that was passed down by our great ancestors who roamed the wild plains crafting the perfect jerky. A little bit of a run on there. I like that though. It also starts well before the jerky gods blessed us with hand-selected premium cuts from only the finest sources of meat. It all starts with the idea that if we don't leave you begging for more, then we aren't living up to our word. And trust us, our word is stronger than a pissed off Longhorn. More than 150 years ago, my forefathers came to Texas. They were cattlemen and beef jerky was a staple of their existence. A century and a half later, I'm still carrying on that tradition with time-honored recipes that I guarantee you will love. So, uh, and funny enough, Wicked Cuts, being from the Northeast New England region, um, Boston specific, with that term wicked, you'd think it's a Boston-based product. And that's what I initially thought when I first heard of them. But that's not the case. They are actually based out of South Lake, Texas. So, the orange teriyaki, as I mentioned, three servings in the bag, standard one ounce size, is 50 calories with 10 calories from fat, a gram of total fat with no saturated or trans fats, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 170 milligrams of sodium with only three grams of carbs, no dietary fiber, three grams of sugar, and eight grams of protein. The mesquite barbecue flavor. No added nitrates or nitrites, no added MSG as well. Standard one ounce serving size, 60 calories with 10 calories from fat, a gram and a half of total fat with no saturated or trans fats, 25 milligrams of cholesterol, 85 milligrams of sodium with one gram of carb, no dietary fiber, one gram of sugar, and nine grams of protein. Carolina Killa, standard one ounce package, and it actually doesn't say anything here about the uh, any particular messaging, but it's cautioning extreme heat. Uh, 50 calories, 10 grams, uh, 10 calories from fat, one gram total fat, no saturated trans fats, 20 milligrams of cholesterol, 115 milligrams of sodium, three grams of carbs, no dietary fiber, three grams of sugar, nine grams of protein. And then. A glass of milk. I'm not going to give that information out, but I'll have a glass of milk out for myself, and uh, it's actually two other guys that are going to be doing it. So we're going to have a three-person panel doing this review. Uh, the uncured bacon jerky, handcrafted premium uncured bacon, high quality. It's gluten-free, no added MSG, no added nitrates or nitrites. Two ounces in this package with a standard one-ounce serving is 120 calories with 60 calories from fat, six grams of total fat, two grams saturated fat, no trans fats. 10 milligrams of cholesterol, 550 milligrams of sodium with nine grams of total carbs, no dietary fiber, nine grams of sugar, six grams of protein. So that's it for the nutritional content piece of this, in the packaging. Um, the one thing they do send in every package that you get, and I actually did initially had done a um, separate review for this, but I'm gonna lump it all into this one. They send you another one of their products called Synfit, which is a protein cookie. And um, to one cookie in the package. So this is almost kind of like a meal replacement bar. So it's a chocolate chip cookie. It's covered with chocolate icing and chocolate chips. It's soft baked, gluten trans fat free, no hydrogen, hydrogenated oils. And it's from a company, probably one of their sister companies called Sinister Labs. Touts on the front of the package, 20 grams of protein. And uh, they actually have a recipe in the back here if you want to make a monster ice cream cookie sandwich, it's basically taking two of these cookies and then um, using a, a softened scoop of your favorite ice cream, making the sandwich of it. So, um, <clears throat> so reading off the, con the content of this, like I said, it's fairly high caloric uh, product. It's 310 calories for the cookie, 12 grams of fat, six grams of saturated fat, four grams of mono not mono saturated fat, two grams of polyunsaturated fat, zero grams of trans fat, 30 milligrams cholesterol, 400 milligrams of sodium, 35 grams of carbs, three, di three grams of dietary fiber, seven grams of sh total sugars with six grams of added sugars and 20 grams of protein. And then the last thing they got, another Synfit product is a double layer protein bar and um, peanut butter crunch flavor, it's gluten free, um, nine grams of protein touted on the back, on the front. And then you look at the back, which is a very small nutritional content. It's uh, one bar, serving size, 100 calories, four and a half grams of fat, 
three and a half grams of saturated fat, half a gram of monosaturated fat, half a gram of polyunsaturated fat, no trans fats, uh, five milligrams of cholesterol, 120 milligrams of sodium, seven grams of carbs, a gram of dietary fiber, three grams of sugar, which includes two grams of added sugar, and nine grams of protein. So, that's it. We are at a little over the 10 minute mark of this piece, I apologize. Um, but the next step is, uh, hopefully later on tonight, I will be doing the panel review with my two friends. I will introduce them uh, when we get there. And I also give the name of the location of where I'm going to be doing this uh, in the review as well. But uh, stay tuned for that. And um, and just to be safe, I'll just give you the uh, the kind of the closing right now in terms of the referencing. But like this video, because I don't know how it's going to go with the uh, the Carolina Reaper. This might be a short video. So uh, I don't know how it's going to end, per se, as a result of that. But um, like this video, leave a comment down below. Um, subscribe to the, my channel if you haven't done so already to watch past and future videos. And you can like me on my other social media channels on uh, Facebook at Brian's Jerky Journey. You can uh, follow me on Twitter at BG Jerky Journey. And you can also um, follow and like me on my Instagram page on Brian's Jerky Journey. So that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed this part of the journey with me. Stay tuned for the real value part of it. And I will see you then. Thanks. All right, guys. So we are here at our three-person panel testing for Wicked Cuts Beef Jerky here at Brian's Jerky Journey. Um, your host of the place to be, Notorious Brian G. I'm joined to my left by Dan Shabilia. And across from us, Joel Fretra. We are at Ray Rock's Bar and Grill on Pelham Street in Methuen, Massachusetts. It's right off of exit 93, uh, exit 47 off Route 93. And uh, not a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, just full disclosure: if there are profanities, there might be, there could be, probably will be. But just uh, if you're watching this at work. <laughs> Not safe for work. There you go. Um, you see here, Joel's got bread, some just bread. In case. We'll see how hot this stuff is. And yeah, we got um, milk. We got, we got glasses of milk here. No worry, right. another tin here. I got my milk here. And of course, we got the beer. And then we got our jerky here. Can't really see it that well from here. I wish there was a way to flip it. But we're gonna start with the orange teriyaki, and then go over to the mesquite. Then we get hit with the Carolina Killer, and finish off with the bacon. So, take that charger off. Maybe the beer will be our, uh, our holder here. I don't have a pop-up on, on this thing. Ooh, well, here we go. Safe. All right. So, what I do when I check the jerky, I open the bag. So, as you know, I already reviewed the packaging, the messaging, the content for each bag. So, we look at tenderness and texture and initial scent when you open the bag. So the orange teriyaki, which I purchased Black Friday. Good deal? Yeah, well, not bad. Bogo jerky? No, it's 25% off. All right. So. All right. So, Thank you, sir. That. Right that. It smells good. It does. Yeah, so it's got a good smell, and it's got a very soft texture to it. So it's- Good floppiness. Good floppiness, it's exactly. very floppy. I mean, just, yeah. That's good. Good flop. Let's just try. No, I'm gonna keep it like here. So. This is terrible. <laughs> it's a good floppiness. Um, texture is good. It's not flimsy though. It's like you can, there you go. Like you get, get a little effort, but it'll come off. So, for tenderness and texture, how would I rank this from a one to five? Five being the best, one being the worst. Texture like a three and a half. Like three and a half. half. Four. You can do three and a half. Four. I'll give it four. And then Dan's already tasting it, but scent and smell. So you got the initial scent on it. Smell. It scent. Initial first impression of the scent was good. I really like the scent. It's got a very nice scent. You can definitely uh, smell kind of the citrus, the citrus of the orange, and then kind of the hint of the teriyaki. So same thing. One out of five. I'm gonna go four on the, on the smell. I'm gonna four, go four and seven there. smell, Dan. What do you think? I like the smell. I'll give it a five. A five. All right. I'm like gonna it. give this. Um, I like the citrus. Stuff. You know what? I'll give it a five as well. All right. Let's throw it in. Come on. Mm. So I've actually heard good things about this brand, about this particular flavor, and I can see why. I like it because it's um, 
It's not like, well, it's not hot. We'll get that later. Right. But it's got a nice chewiness to it. So you like. Yeah, it wasn't tough to chew. Yeah. Yep. But it wasn't. It didn't also disintegrate either when you yep. ate it. Um, yeah. Right, exactly. So like. Some of the better jerky I've had recently. Yeah. Oh, I really cleanser. like this. So what? What's that? Palette cleanser? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, well, I'll chase it with that. So what would you give this one to five? See, I'm going four because I, I can't go five because what if one of these is better then they can't go up? Well, go to case by case basis as it relates to the brand. So. Right. I'm still going to go four. We'll go I'm four, give, okay. I'm going to yeah, give the I'm other, gonna, I'm going to give the other, you know, other, the other, the other four thing. with the right to be revisited. Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. So we'll go We're going to table that. Table there. Here we go. So just just so you know, uh, Joel sitting across from us is our um, city council elect for our uh, east district. So central, central. central. Jesus Christ. I'm you sorry. live in the central. I do. We all live there. Yeah, we get redistricted so many <laughs> every so often. So we're in central in uh, the city of Methuen, and Joel is one of our two uh, district city councilors who was just elected, and uh, we'll be taking office in four days. Yes. <laughs> so uh, I figured this would be a good time to. Uh, him to kind of embrace the heat before he faces the real heat. So this would probably be nothing compared to what happens in January. Oh, of course. For real. All right. So. so all right. The next one will be the mesquite barbecue. So. All right. All right. And again, another nice. Another nice scent. Equally floppy. Equally floppy. Yep. And, I mean, given the, it's mesquite barbecue, so it's a smoke, barbecue's got a kind of a smoky uh, scent to it. Um, the texture, again, I think is very similar to what we had with the orange teriyaki, so um, it does kind of have a filmy kind of tech, like when you kind of feel yeah, your hands after it. mesquite power yeah. on you. Yeah. yeah, so you definitely have to wash your hands after you use this. Definitely, when we, I believe when we do the Carolina Killer, we're going to have to wash our hands because if we get any of that in our eyes, I can only imagine that burning yeah. sensation. So. touch anywhere else. Exactly. So. Don't do that. That would be bad. Yep. Yeah. So, wait till you get home. Exactly. <laughs> so, so one to five, what do you give it? So I gave it. A, I gave the other one a three and a half. I'm going to go the same. I feel like the texture and the floppiness and the, you know the consistency is the same as it was for the for the orange teriyaki. So I gave the last one a four, but I'm going to go for a three and a half for this one because I don't like the residue. Okay. I don't like the stuff. You know. All right. Cool. I want to be able to chew and go. All right. June screw. That's what I like to say. So, um, I'll be. I like to give like rounded off like even numbers. So I'll give this a three. Uh, again, you know, it's kind of similar to the teriyaki, which I kind of gave a four, but I think the, the texture on the hands afterwards is kind of a bad taste, or a bad feel to it. But um, I don't think that's going to be a necessarily bad experience because I have a feeling that it's going to taste well when we, uh, you know, when we uh, have to we smell it and then chew it. So. Uh, I'll give it a three on the tenderness and texture. So, uh, scent and smell. So, kind, kind of, kind of smell the. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three and a half on that. I'm gonna go lower than the orange teriyaki because as soon as you open the orange teriyaki, you're able to get that smell and it was yeah. good. This, yeah. you know, you you have to really bring it up close to smell it. Yeah. But you know, it's a little bit of that mesquite. So I'll give it a three and a half. Yeah. A little Why don't you take a smell too and see? I'm gonna smell it. I'm gonna touch it. There you go. All right. Yeah, I'm with it. Three and a half. Three and a half. I'll give it a four. I'm gonna stay consistent in terms of the uh, what I gave the orange teriyaki. I like barbecue mesquite. I tasted other brands like it. It's good. So uh, I'll give it a four. It takes a. It really takes a lot, I think, to give it a five. There was one brand that I'd done a couple episodes ago where it was five across the board, and I think that was just very unique factors as as it relates to how it was packaged and presented. So, but yeah. So let's throw in our mouths and see how it chews and tastes. Heat's got a little bit of heat. A little bit. Mmm. You get that little flint, like little heat once it uh, goes down, like the aftertaste. I got on my lip a little chap, so <laughs> definitely felt that a little bit. Oh, that's gonna suck later. No, later is about, yeah. I was gonna say, you might need to take a little drink after this. Wow. So. I like the aftertaste. Yeah. yeah. It sticks with you a little bit, even after you, sw you swallow it. You have to, at least that mesquite, mesquite you know, the in your mouth, I like that. The mesquite is, is there, and it's yeah. strong, and it's not like you're looking for it, so it's nice. Yeah, I'm gonna no. definitely give that a four right there. Yeah, 
I like that. I give that a four. If I can see, I would go, if I was going, like, if I could go, I'd go four and a quarter, actually. I'd give that a little better score than the orange teriyaki. See, I would put the teriyaki one higher. But it's personal because I like the I like the, the teriyaki right. better. Than but the I like the way I like the way the mesquite stayed with you. Yeah, yeah. the mesquite you know. did, it, it is still there. Yep, it's still there. Now I feel bad because we're gonna hit the Carolina Killer after this, and I hope that taste goes away. Yeah, we might have to chase it with the. Uh, we'll definitely have to be chasing it with yeah. the milks that we Milk, have here. Milk, bread, popcorn. I mean, even the beer for that beer. matter. So, all right. So moment of truth. We're at the nine minute mark here, halfway there. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> Caution, extreme heat. Wait, I'm nervous. A little bit. No. <laughs> All right. I have my daughter's car, and she said if I pee my pants, I'm not allowed to drive her car home. <laughs> so that's so, fair. I'd be upset too. My feeling right now is because we had that mesquite, it might offset whatever hints, like whatever heat this is going to get. But we'll find out in a second. And holy crap! <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Well, I'm right here. I can look at that. You can smell it already. All right. Look at that. That's a huge piece. I think that's Dan's. Yeah. See, I, I have no problem, depending on how we initially received this, of just splitting this between the three of us. No, I know. Oh, man, up. Say, want to man up, get a piece? I, I go big or go home, right? All right, that's cool. what we do. All right. But that, that's, give that to Dan? Go yeah. big or home, but give the big one to right. Dan. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what's next. All Dan right. One. I'm literally. Whoop. Oh! There you go. Should have taken this one. So oh! Oh! Yeah. I'm a little worried about this. So, I'm liking the texture all around. It's got, you know. I don't know what it is, but I, I'm gonna, my, my sense is it like you know the touch sense is just telling me so, it's it feels fresh. So I'm gonna say I'm like you gotta give a, a hats off to Wicked Cuts here because it's not you're not getting anything dry. We're not getting anything you know that crumbles or falls apart. Yep. So when you have three different flavors, kind of says maybe it's not you know the one cut. Maybe it's just the way the way this company's preparing their product and shipping it out and. You know, the vacuum bag might have something to do with it as well. It's yep. just regular plastic. Oh, yeah. So, and I mean, and this is pretty much the, the... And that's the thing, though, is for what it's worth, this is the standard in terms of how all this, all these brands are for the most part prepared with a vacuum seal bag, so... Well, I'm, I'm thinking of more like, you know, most of us go to the store, we buy it, you know, yep. CBS beef links or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, it's a plastic see-through bag. Yep. You know, this has got the foil bag. Oh, you know, I see what you're saying. Because it's, foil as compared to because the, it's not the like allowing any sunlight in. Yeah, it's well, not I feel like it's less it. dry than... Never thought of it like that. It's actually a good point through. because yeah, you feel it probably, it probably helps. So, like, I reviewed... What I heard, real damper jerky was the re what I reviewed yesterday, and the backside of the bag was completely exposed, and it just felt dry. And maybe it's because of, and maybe it, like looking inside here, it's got you know that aspect of yeah, there. The just, foil piece. The foil it. kind of preserves it, uh, especially considering if this is uh, being fulfilled out of uh, uh, South Lake, Texas, and uh, I knew for a fact when I ordered the um, orange teriyaki and the mesquite.
Ah, it's, I know it's sacrilege, but you know the old Bill Cosby himself special when he's in the dentist chair. My bottom lip. That's what I feel like. I like, I feel oh, like I'm Jesus. not able to talk. Can you imagine if I gave you oh. one of these suckers right here? Jesus. Oh, that is that is. <clears throat> but you know what? Wow, it's it, it's the smell. It's like wow. I am happy with that. That is good. <laughs> you want more? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Every once in a while, one's enough. Too much of a good oh. thing. Another one. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> good timing. Mm. So to be fair, it wasn't as hot as I thought it was going to be. No, I expected like... I expected to be like passed out on the floor from like heat convulsions or something. So I don't know if you guys saw the Facebook thing that they did with Chris Gronkowski. But like... He was like sweating profusely, and he had like maybe, maybe this much. Barely could finish the second one. But yeah, like I couldn't eat this at work. Oh. I couldn't have a bag of this in my desk. No, no, no. With the others, I could that orange cherry bag. I could, I could kill all I day. I could plow through that bag in like a minute and a half. Oh yeah. That this is, is this is probably a good. Uh, uh, I like. I'm, I'm sure been, there's people that love the spicy stuff and could do that all day. Oh yeah. But I think that's something you you do like what we just did. We got a bunch of buddies over. Hey, everyone have a piece of this, or you pass it out and you give it to her. Hey, we're yep. eating. Like, we got the orange teriyaki, now you sneak them one. Yeah. And then you see it, then you watch the reaction. Hey, that's not orange. That's not yeah. orange. Pass that off with mesquite. Oh, man. Oof. Oh. But, nice. But, hey, wicked cuts. That was, that was good. Oh. That was wicked good. I'm going to get out. Wicked good. Well, that's saying something here in New England. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's wicked pissa. Wicked pissa. That's what I thought. Um, all right. Wow. Whew. Now it's yeah, I don't, maybe it took like four pieces, but it's, it's starting to hit me. But wow, I'm gonna go four and a half. Four and a half on chewing. It didn't disappoint me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The the consistency of the chewiness across the first three brands has been the same. It's, it's, yeah. it's so easy to chew. It's not rough. Um, and I don't and know what it is. You have jerky. It's like it's stuck in your teeth. Yep. This I feel like I'm eating this. I'm not. It's not just lingering in there. Yep. I like, mean, some I, of the. I don't need a floss stick right now. Yeah. yeah. I eat fire hose, maybe. But. All right. So, and I have this much left here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw some out and eat some more. Yeah, that's oh. all you guys. <laughs> yeah. That is awesome. Oh. That was good. Yeah, I am like not disappointed. You know, there was this could have went, this could have went really bad. <sighs> yeah, yeah, this is not as bad as I anticipated. Well, I'm glad because when I did the package review, I actually said. Uh, the closings of all my social media stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna do it now instead of later because I don't know I'm gonna be able to be later on about that. But so we're three quarters of the way there, but I feel like we saved the best for last because now it shouldn't be as bad. Applewood smoked bacon jerky. I hope not because I drank all the milk. I ate my bread and I have no yep. more beer. <laughs> no more beer. <laughs> so there's like ketchup is next right now. Is that oh jeez. All right, here's a ketchup. No. So um, am I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, in my take on, on bacon jerky is, if you're looking at if you're looking at bacon jerky as a uh, viable health alternative, no. This is like. So, what is your feel on the when you go, you get the turkey jerkies and you have the other types of which are you know. So, turkey jerky is not bad. I like it. I'm just uh, the only exotic that I've tried thus far has been the salmon, and it was teriyaki salmon. So it was. Um, I don't know. It was, I think it's an acquired taste. And I think that's the case with jerky in general. Like if you have, if you never had it and you have it, you don't necessarily have to do it. Uh, uh, Coors Light? Oh, yeah. Coors Oh, yeah. She remembers. Uh, so. Anything on it? Anything that's not hot. You got that right okay, there. No jalapenos? No jalapenos. No. We'll just top it with you. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's got a nice scent to it. Look at the table. Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Look no at that. I wonder why yours wasn't too bad. That's your seeds right there. All your seeds are on the Dude, table. Dude, I had four pieces. Dude, I had four pieces on top of that, so I think I got my seed fill. <laughs> and it's it's hot. So, all right. Why don't you, at least I can do is let you pick the bacon jerky that you want. Oh, there you go. You deserve that. You deserve right. that. I haven't. Yeah, there you go. Just throw it in. As far as I'm concerned, bacon jerky is a five across the board. So. This is Applewood smoked. Everything but that. Mmm, bacon. Mm. It's sweet. 
uncured. Mm. Mm. It's good. It's neat. It's cutting through the heat on the last one. That's actually probably a good thing to do then. Thank you. Um, <laughs> yeah. Definitely not my definitely my least favorite out of the four. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not really the same. It's right. Bacon versus beef. So. Um, and then, like to me, this was just kind of like a a bonus thing. I learned, when I look at bacon jerky, like I said, it's uh, that's a treat. It's gonna most likely be good regardless. All right. So. Got that. So with every order that you get from Wicked Cuts, they will send you what's called a SinFit protein cookie. Swag bag. And then, yeah. So when I got the original, it's Ooh. it's cool actually. So. Um, as I meant, I, I previewed it in the in the um, in the first half of this video. You can uh, actually take two of these, put some ice cream on it, make a cookie sandwich out of it. So, but I'm gonna give you guys a choice because you guys have definitely earned it. Thank you for taking time out of your day and your weekend to come out to choose. Yeah, so that's a Sinfit protein bar. Uh, I would I would choose the cookie. I'm a cookie. Yeah, guy. I would yeah. do the cookie. That's fine. I will take. Whatever is not, whatever is left over, I'll take. Want to split a cookie? Yeah, let's split a cookie. Want to split yeah. a cookie? Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Let's take a look. It's good, right? The bacon did it. The, the bacon, bacon was a good call. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll document everything up. Take notes in terms of how we ranked everything. And then I have a, uh, wow, look at that. Completely covered in chocolate. You know what it looks chips. like? It looks like an old Star Crunch almost. Oh, oh yeah. Let's see how this opens. Oh, it's nice. Look at that. Full straight in. Wow. It's going to be filling. Yeah, it is. It's got the dense cookies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I can see this being like a. Uh, this would be filling. You want a whole cookie? Well, it's 300 calories, 310 calories just for the cookie itself. Right. Right. But, this looks like some of the things that they would sell at my gym when I leave. Like they'd sell the protein cookies and. Definitely sounds like something that would, uh, would be there. I agree. Mm. Well, can imagine with the ice cream on it, making it a cookie sandwich. It's good. It's like 40 grams of protein. Oh god, yeah. it's a lot of protein. Yeah. I would almost cut that in half into a half of one because I got that, that is two of those at once. Open oh yeah. Cookie. Mm. Because two of those, that's a lot. I mean, even the small half that I had. Yeah. It, it was it was good and it wasn't chalky like most protein snacks. Yeah. Are. Yeah, that's, that, that's a good point right there. You know, you a lot of times you get that like yeah, powdery type. Yeah. But no. So this is a hundred calories right here. You can tell. Sort of serving size. It has to be a hundred calories when it's this small. <laughs> so it's a nice little drizzle of chocolate right there. And I'll document the um like how the nutritional content translates to uh, if you do WW Weight Watcher points, how that works out. But uh, want to try a bite? Well, this is so. Uh, this is a uh, peanut butter crunch. Joel, I'll take a little piece. Mm. Near the end there. Pretty good. I'd rather the cookie. Yeah. All right. So, whatever we have, uh, whatever full glasses we have. Just a big cheers here. Yeah. Thanks to Joel and Dan for taking Survive. time out. Did so, embarrass ourselves. Yep, it's a late Sunday night here after Christmas. Um, last Sunday of the decade, before we go into the new decade. And um, um, that'll do it for episode 20, before we hit 2020, of Brian's Jerky Journey. 
Uh, like this video, hit that subscribe button to watch past and future videos. And you can uh, also follow me on my social media channels. Uh, like my Facebook page of Brian's Jerky Journey. Follow me on Twitter at BG Jerky Journey. And um, follow me on Instagram at Brian Jerky Journey. So I'll do it for a special three person panel wicked cuts taste test of Brian's Jerky Journey, episode 20. Hope you enjoy the journey with me and join me in the next one. Thanks. Thank you for watching Brian's Jerky Journey. If you don't like jerky, you suck. You do two, two, three tablets. Three it is. <sighs> that Reaper was intense.